guys so i got this great opportunity from one of my cleaning clients to make over some rooms her kids are gone off to college and grown up and they're empty nesting and so here we're just starting with one of her oldest daughter's rooms the room already had a great color palette the green on the wall and has been being used for storage and so the room has been emptied out and the homeowner bought this bed very modern look to the space and i found this rocker upstairs that she said i could raid and i decided the best accent for this room would be to do this board and batten like wainscoting and so i went and just ripped down a sheet of underlayment i think it's actually eighth inch and ripped it into like two and a half inch strips and just tacked it to the wall with a little bit of glue and i did not want to to alter the existing paint colors so I was very cautious about how I had the new paint meet the old paint and because um, this house you know was built 20 years ago and there was no color matching that perfectly without like painting a whole wall so here's how I like to pull my tape and go ahead and get nice finishes against trim or the existing wall colors and I went ahead and got this painted in just a gloss white i matched their trim so what was existing on the doors and base i went ahead and just got it in a semi-gloss and i am actually getting all their current baseboards painted as well you can see this is what trim will look like over time if there's not a finished coat of paint on the caulking so it was really hard for my bristles to round that top corner of the trim and give good coverage so you can see i'm like back and forth and back and forth sorry about that but this just brightened the room a lot just having this little bit of finish work done So the client got this secondhand like DIY hutch made for a specific dorm that her daughter ended up not needing and it was no use to her and I gave it a little bit of a facelift. Along with this pot, um, the red just needed to be neutralized and I did take some new fabric from Walmart and I cut the appropriate pieces to reupholster this cushion. I actually used hot glue. I'm pulling strings off right now. You can see the, the fabric is glued together well. Um, I used a high heat glue stick and because the cushion is tapered, I went ahead and glued it just as if I would if I sewed it. Um, so I cut that strip around the perimeter and um, adhered it with the top and bottom and it was a pretty fast process and made a huge change to this chair and it took away the baby factor. So that nice neutral stripe, um, the cushion's holding up great. Um, sometime later now and I'm just seeing what the throw looks like and some of the pieces I've gotten for the room I didn't know if this pillow would look best or if the bigger I like the scale of the cream one and the texture it offered I just chose that for the long run this homeowner is pretty sentimental about the items she has in her home so I love that this fabric could be just cut right off nothing's permanent this is a side table that was another family heirloom and I went ahead and am just pulling all those little knobs that were on the top off and I'm giving it a good coat of old English oil just to cover any scratches or anything worn. I am replacing the knobs. I re-spray painted the pole for the bottom drawer and replaced the top drawer with two nice modern black knobs and that updated the piece so nice it fits the space great. And on to the bed. Honestly, this is where we were willing to invest to make the beds really comfy. And I got this beautiful little botanical blanket set from Target. And it came with a king size comforter and two standard shams. And I went ahead and got a king size duvet cover and insert just to add that nice cozy layer at the end of the bed. We actually invested into Brook Linen sheet sets. We've gotten them on sale at our discount store. This client like has bought them out and given them as gifts. It makes for such a cozy bed. So I totally recommend Brook Linen. I'm really enjoying the staggered pillow sizes with the king size sheet pillows, the standard comforter pillows and the large lumbar. This is my basket of goodies. 
and I'm letting my girl, she's been helping me here and there, and I'm letting my girl kind of figure out how to style this shelf. So I gave her a moment and had her arrange things as she saw fit. And it was really cute to see her uh, in action. So I did go behind her and kind of helped style the items accordingly. And there's that red vase up there that I spray painted with chalk paint and did a speckle. It's fairly cute. There's fresh towels in the basket. She wrote a cute little thing on the little frame. And um, that clock is from Lowe's. What an interesting find from Lowe's. And I love it. It's beautiful with those little legs. And talking about legs, what do you think about the new base and legs on this bookshelf? I love how it just made this piece make sense and the repurpose of it. I finished this base off with this lamp and a $20 mirror from Walmart. Since I was going for the cottage modern farmhouse vibes, I did the drop cloth curtain. I put that bar almost to the ceiling and ordered black curtain rings and went ahead and just washed and dried those drop cloths to get rid of any odor and hung them up. I love the pleats and the fact that they're a nice heavy statement. The desk was a staple in the room, so we went ahead and just kind of styled that accordingly. And overall, I just love how this room is feeling. The board and batten wall treatment and the light airiness, the botanical feel of that bed and bedding is just beautiful. The cozy little seating area, I tried providing a seating area in every room that we did for her. It just turned out lovely. Thanks to the homeowner's help curating items for the room, she found this beautiful desk chair that matched the desk area a little bit better where we were able to repurpose the old one. And so we have an old portrait of their daughter and a cute hanging plant in the corner with that tray on the bed. And she has just helped finish this space off. Moving on to room number two, this is their son's room. And in this room, while I was working on the first, my husband built the bed and installed a new fan. And we did change placement of the bed. We decided to put it on this right wall as you walk in. It was here to the left of the door when you walked in, which impeded the flow to the closet. This is the inspiration pictures. We're kind of going for this modern Western vibe. And I went ahead and started it off with painting Urbane Bronze on this main wall as an accent. And I'm going to go ahead and work on curtains. I feel like that's just the best place to add height. And these windows were tricky because that left one was pushed up against the wall. So I wasn't sure about placement. I drilled this in and then thought, should I put the panels together? and just decided both the curtains flowing to the right side of the window looked more aesthetically pleasing. So here is the bed put together, a camel colored quilt in king size, even though it's a queen bed. It was a lot of that color. So we got this comforter in and I cracked up at the compact like vacuum sealed size of it. So I gave it a wash and dry and assembled this bed with this beautiful cream soft bedding from Amazon, the king size quilt. I found black Euro pillows down inserts from Amazon. So I went ahead again and did the staggered pillow sizes. I have that king size camel pillow, the Brooklinen sheet set in standard, the two black Euros and the accent pillow and you can't beat this mule face this guy loves his mules so we had to incorporate that and unlike the first room where i relocated the large mirror and tucked it behind the door we're making this more of an accent so we have the rocker here that was in the room i added just a modern pillow and this table is a family heirloom she was convinced came from the mayflower and it's a little high to the chair, but we went ahead and kept it as is. I framed that mirror out with um, pre-finished fence pickets, and I just love the look of it. It just cozies up that corner and this bare rug. He was given this as a child and was terrified of it, so it had to stay in the rooms, kind of a comical addition. 
I took his hats from the closet and we just made them an accent in the room and the mirror I ended up using for the first room but this furniture was his grandfather's so his grandfather sat at this desk so I went ahead and just used decor that was already in the space in the closet. Those were his grandfather's leads and just things that his family had painted or made for him as a child. I did try to create and like duplicate the three that was in the hats on the other side of the room. So I made these arrows with extra lumber left over from the mirror frame. I got this magnolia tray from the discount store and beakers from a yard sale that I just put boxwood leaves in. Painted this frame and stuck a picture of him in it and this corner is really cute. A lot of sentimental items. So we finally got this custom canvas in of him as a child and finished off this wall with the brass plug-in lamps and these modern nightstands. They're nice and low profile and don't take up any floor space and they're just a perfect addition of that modern to an old western sentimental style room. All right, moving on to room number three. This room really had an excellent foundation. It's been recently painted and the homeowner moved around all the furniture and changed things up enough that we already really had a good start. So the locker used to be in the corner of the room and this chest used to be under the big window and she just took it upon herself to kind of simplify the desk area and move those things around to start off and embrace the kind of boho vibes so here is the connected bathroom the other two bedrooms just have a bath in the hall this one has its own bath and my first goal was to build a big shelf above the bed that was the vision so i got a big piece of lumber l brackets from walmart and i ordered these lights off of amazon and i just went to town building that shelf that was the first big task for this space the bedding was already well established she has a beautiful neutral magnolia bedding set i did order a lumbar pillow and just kind of took that um, throw blanket at the end of the bed and just made it look raw and you know flowy not so straight lined mama already took it upon herself to get this beautiful little tray set up at the end of the bed it was so cute and i found these curtains from target i loved the boho like lacy tassel vibes it gave off and so with this room we didn't hang the higher curtain and we just used the existing rods that were already under those um, balances above the windows and one of my favorite additions in creating a seating area for each room was this cute little boho rocker. I ordered this on Amazon and cozied up this corner. I did paint this bookshelf that was the homeowner's as a teenager, gave it a fresh coat of white. I only bought the greenery and lamp on this desk. The homeowner styled this for her daughter and kind of simplified the shrine, so the daughter called it, of all the accomplishments. I styled the shelf above the bed with items that they already had in the space and did a portrait of their daughter as a baby and moved this green trunk and desk chair in the room just to create this accent and talking trunks. We had the vision of stacked trunks and suitcases as a side table and on her travels doing thrift store shopping and such she landed this suitcase which was the exact thing we were looking for natural fibers with leather it was just perfect and i believe she got it for less than ten dollars so what a find we ended up throwing pompous grass in this vessel here and that mirror is something that goes back to college with their daughter and overall this room is just really sweet and simple it's okay to just fall back in love with your house this homeowner honestly has just loved kind of being a part of this process some rooms were a little bit of a surprise some things i just pulled out of my hat and she came home like what 
but overall she was just super supportive and just loved um, the repurposing of sentimental items and things that really were significant to their family and it didn't stop here she even took the time in her own room to just redecorate she pulled everything from her room walls that have been on there for years and just made it her own and so I think that whatever you have to inspire you to just fall back in love with your house it's worth doing doing because you know we live here and it takes if sometimes it just takes a few simple steps to make it feel fresh and new I just want to say an extra thank you to this family for giving me the opportunity to just explore and be creative and think out of the box and have this experience. I loved it and I'm glad to share it with you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.